I think often Palenko gets a bad name um, because it's a little bit fancier than some of the other neighborhoods in Mexico City. I think also it doesn't look perhaps like other parts of Mexico City. Um, it's not what people expect a neighborhood in Mexico City to look like, which is kind of why I like it. It sort of pushes the boundaries of like your expectations of a place. And I think that's a really important part of any city to like make you feel, you know, like maybe everything that you expected about it isn't true or, um, you know, I just think there's so much more to Palenco than bougie restaurants and, um, you know, fancy clubs. Palenco has some of my favorite street food. El Turix is absolutely delicious. El Rey de Suadero is also delicious. Um, it's home to one of the best museums in the city, in my opinion, Museo Sumaya, which is completely free. It's um, a huge collection of different types of art. It's absolutely beautiful. Part of loving a city is seeing it in different ways. And while I am a Roma girl through and through, um, I love the architecture in Roma. I love the food scene. I love walking around there. I also really like Palenco. It's where my hairdresser is. Um, Luke and I spend weekends there walking along um, one of the main streets because it's so beautiful there. And it's really quiet in comparison to other places. So I think if you're gonna be spending a little bit of time in Mexico City, you should definitely give Palenco a chance. And I hope this video convinces you um, to check it out. We are off to El Turix, which is a taco place in Palenco that does cochinita pibil and it is so good. So we're just about to hop in an Uber and go for some food. for those tacos for probably about 10 minutes but totally worth it we've been there a few times now and the cochinita there is just unbelievable it's so good um, tacos are 18 pesos each um, and you can get tortas and panuchos which are like two tortillas stuffed with beans and the top with the cochinita <laughs> So this is a very fancy department store called Palacio de Hierro and if you want to go and buy some Chanel or Gucci, it's a great place to head. Otherwise it's also a really good place for like good makeup if so if you're looking for somewhere like that. We are now walking down Horacio which is kind of one of our new favorite places to come on a sunny day. You've got this paved path to walk down the middle of the street. It's a little bit sunny, a little bit shaded and it's just nice and relaxing. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.